guys! Okay, so I am having a very, very weird day today. I woke up like halfway through the day when the day was like already halfway done, and I have been in pajamas and cleaning my room, which is my variation of not. Ow, whoa, that was a freaking hand spasm. That was really weird. Which is my variation of not doing anything and just watching YouTube videos all day. But that's my excuse for being in my room and not doing anything productive outside my room, which is I'm cleaning my room, which is actually... So I'm trying to get my feet underneath. Okay. So, and yeah, I actually did all that today thinking that I would just, like, stay in my pajamas all day and then just not do anything. When, as it turns out, I totally, totally, totally forgot I am going to the movies tonight. We are deciding to go to a late night movie um, to go see The Hobbit. And this is actually a very, very good thing. It gets me out of the house and stuff, but... Um, was not expecting it. Anyways, I'm here with my Christmas mug of tea. It's caffeinated, so I stay awake during the movie. And I know how white and weird I look. It's because I didn't know I was going to be going out today, so I had to shower. So my hair's wet, and I just did very, very light makeup. On to the video, because that was a very long introduction. I... I'm doing a movie review for the first time on this channel, I think. Um, I think I did book reviews on, like, my last channel. Um, but this channel was supposed to be more, like, beauty thing, and then I'm like, that's really, really boring if all I do is beauty stuff. I mean, even people who like makeup like other things, like, you don't just like makeup, I'm assuming. One second, it's so hot, I have to open my window. Seriously, it's, like, so hot in my room, it's like, a sauna. Um, oh yeah, another weird disclaimer, um, all day I don't drink water, I actually hate the taste of water. If I could have anything but water to live, I so would do that. And today I drank five or six full one of these, like, non-stop. Like, it would empty, I would go fill it up, and I'd just sit there and drink it. It would take me, like, 20 minutes to finish one of these. And I just keep doing that. And my mom actually... What was I was gonna fall over? My mom actually noticed how weird it was, so she's like, "Okay, hey, don't don't drink any more water." She's like, "You're not allowed any more water." So I'm on tea now, so which I'm not drinking as much. It's like I want my water back. Um, so that's weird, but good because my New Year's resolution is more water. But I'm wondering why I'm so watery now. Watery. I'm watery. As I was saying before, I had to open my window. I am doing a movie review. Well, it's kind of actually a series review, like a TV series review. Um, if you guys know, because right now, this actor who's the lead, whoa, the lead actor in the TV series I'm going to be talking about has a show on CTV, I believe, it's called Castle, and it's a cop show with a detective, and he's a writer, and he consults on, um, murder cases, there you go, but ten years ago, there was a movie that came out on Fox Network, and it lasted for one season. Literally, like, how many episodes? Like, 14 episodes? Which is from, like, when it starts, like, after the summer to Christmas. So that's such a short run. And this is the main actor. His name is Nathan... Okay. Nathan something. And this show is called Firefly, and it's created by Joss Wheaton. I am a girly girl, so I stay away from anything scary, zombie, bleh. Um, so I was a tiny bit scared to get into this. Um, we heard about this, like, years ago, and my mom was like, yeah, we should watch it. We just never got around to it. And then at a gift exchange, they actually got the Firefly. <laughs> it's the season one, but it's the only season, so this is, like, the entire show in four discs. Four discs? And so we, we started watching it and we just got addicted. So the show is about, it's basically literally um, the future that everyone like sees the future as where Earth is non-existent anymore. There is no Earth. There is no knowledge of what the Earth used to be. It is so long from now. And there are spaceships and other planets who hold life Form, but it's not like aliens because even they when they talk about aliens they're like oh come on like aliens but the planets that they can go to um can sustain life force life's life form but each planet's different so they all hold weird things but like some planets are bigger than others some planets are like big deserts some are just the moon and people can live on the moon 
Um, there are spaceships, but it's like a spaceship. -y. It's like a sci-fi cowboy because they've almost gone back to like the old ways of living. Um, they talk in old English. Um, they have the the two main super nations of the world, so the U.S. and China, are the only two uh, dominating cultures that have survived. So it's very common for like middle class white people or even low class white people to just whip out and start speaking Mandarin. Um, so there's a lot of that and it's when they, they walk down the streets you can see the just the mesh of all the different cultures together. Um, but there's no, there's like it's very rare to have religious people like the whole God concept mm. has, com has completely blown up. Um, and it's really, really, really cool. Like, there's this, there's this one scene that's just, like, hilarious. It's, like, a spaceship flanked by cowboys on horses. So it's, like, it's really, really funny. But anyways, it's this one guy, and he is with his uh, war buddy, Zoe, who is the other main character, and she's, like, a badass fighter chick. And um, they, they were on the... The rebellion, the th the, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. the they were on the side that was like trying to get out. You know, like you know how there's always the side that's like the rebellion of the government or whatever. So they were on that side, like trying to win, um, so that the government would be overthrown and stuff. And they lost. But anyways, they're trying to escape from the alliance because like even though they're not really breaking the law, like as living, they're um they don't want to be under their rule. They want to be free completely. Which is why they were in the war in the first place. But anyways, this is getting kind of boring as I'm talking about it. Sorry, I'm going to try to speed things up. So they, it's like, it. you don't know this in the beginning of the show, but it like flashbacks at the end. That's why I'm just explaining it to you. So him and Zoe go to find a spaceship. So they can just travel the outer regions of space without being followed and stuff. And they find this old, really cool uh, smuggling ship called, a f which is a Firefly. And they named it Serenity, which was the last battle that they were in. And um, they start taking on jobs, which are legal or illegal, as they say. And uh, they get to danger. They're kind of like, they have a reputation for being indestructible, indestructible because they always get out of it. They always do their stuff. They have a really good reputation. And also, there's this really cool concept where you the these ships, because there are other ships, like all these passenger ships, they go to planets mm -hmm. and, and they pick up tourists um, who just want to go on a ship to have the experience and stuff. So that's what they do to get extra money. And they picked up this this group of five. And I think it was five, three, four, four people then. And, uh, or five, whatever. And uh, they take these people on board and it turns out that these people were the people who like had the weirdest things happening like one guy was a shepherd so he's like a priest um and then this other guy is running from the government because he stole his sister back from a lab because she's like a special like genius person and so they were running tests on her and he was trying to save her and get her back to a different planet and um then they found out and then they decided to stay because the guy was actually a doctor and they needed a medic and then just a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, it's so addictive because each episode has like this whole new twist and all the characters are just so addictive and it's hilarious and funny and romantic and scary and it's like the perfect twist of everything together and it's seriously, I did not think I would like this. I cried when the little opening song happened on the last episode. It ran for 14 episodes because they couldn't get enough audience members um, to like grab onto it. And it's funny because if you look up Firefly on, because that's what it's called, sorry. I don't know if I said that. It's called Firefly. <laughs> um, if you look up Firefly on Google, I'm 100% sure. Like there are huge fan places where they've like raised thousands of dollars to keep bit from going off air but of course I had to but now you can get this which is the series but it's really good and I really recommend watching it and that's coming from a girly girl so and anyways um I didn't I was really really upset that it was over so my mom did some digging and we found there's actually a movie named Serenity which is the name of the ship and it is about I haven't watched we haven't watched this yet we're saving it we just finished the series last night so we're just kind of like giving ourselves a day or two to just kind of like 
understand that it was the end, which sucks because they actually didn't know it was ending. You can like watch the blooper reel and at the front it's like a, like, uh, a little thing is like this was an intentioned, this was intentionally made to be aired. It was made for their Christmas party which ended up to be their rap party. Like they didn't know till like right before their Christmas party that the show was being taken off air. They didn't have a chance to wrap anything up. So everything, a lot of things are hung in midair and I think there are some forums and blogs I'm going to try to look up that like the writers kind of tell you what they were planning because there was no way that they could have finished it. But anyways, the movie is um, called Serenity and it's a passenger with a deadly secret, six rebels on the run, an assassin in pursuit. When the renegade crew of Serenity agrees to hide a fugitive on their ship, they find themselves in an action-packed battle between the relentless military might of a totalitarian regime that will destroy anything or anyone to get the girl back to the, and to get the girl back and the bloodthirsty creatures who roam the uncharted areas of space. But the greatest dangers of all may be their ship. From the mind of Joss Wheaton, uh, which also created Buffy the Vampire Slayer, by the way, that's the guy, um, comes a new edge of your new edge of your seats adventure loaded with explosive battles, gripping special effects, and fantastic new worlds. Oh, I'm so excited to watch this. I'm just very, very happy that like there's a movie, and it's a legitimate movie. It's not like just a bunch of episodes they didn't get to air. It's like two and a half hours. Two hours. Sorry, it's two hours. So, it's it's very exciting. But I definitely, definitely just wanted to make this video um, explaining, because I like my YouTube channel is kind of for me to like tell you guys things that I love. And recommend new things. And I'm recommending this freaking series, because it, I'm pointing at something you guys can't see. This freaking serious because it's freaking fantastic and probably not that expensive to go out and buy. 14 episodes, so recommended. Just go watch it. You will not be disappointed. I just wanted to make that very quick video to explain that to you guys and I hope that you do go find it and you do go watch it because I am certain it will open your minds and just, oh, it's so good. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a later video.